I'm gonna show you some specific types of mistakes that AI tools can make while coding. I just wanted to show you this because people talk about vibe coding tools making mistakes in very vague terms. And I wanted to give a professional engineer's perspective. So I'm vibe coding my site, viralsoraprompts.com, and I just introduced a feature where you can paste a Sora link, fetch the video, here's like a little cat dragging a Christmas tree, and then you can analyze the style and it gives you a complete breakdown shot by shot of what made the video work. And then after that, you put in your own idea and then get a, a prompt exactly in that style. So I noticed I was waiting hell long for this analyzed style to actually work. So I go over to Claude Code and I discover a few things wrong. Number one, it is base64 encoding the video twice, once on the front end and once on the back end. Now the Gemini API, which is the API I'm using because it's multimodal, it supports video input. The API requires a base64 encoded string. So the fact that it's doing it twice is very inefficient. It's building the string of byte by byte very inefficiently as well. And not only that, we set the max output size tokens to 8,192. Um, this was done by the vibe coding tool. And we don't need this many tokens in our output, right? There are some issues even with Claude's response. So it suggests using multi-part form data instead of base64 JSON. If it looked at the API, it would know that we need base64 encoding. So we really can't skip that part. And then it makes another mistake too, because it says it sends 67 megabytes over the network, three to 10 seconds for 50 megabyte video. The actual Sora videos are more like 1.5-ish megabytes, two megabytes. So it didn't really do that analysis right. So the big takeaway from this is don't fully trust the vibe coding tool. If something is off, it's off. And it's prudent to actually pull down the code via GitHub desktop. It's a front end showing each commit that the vibe coding tool makes, understand what files were being touched as part of your change, and then go into a command line tool. You can use various tools, Claude, Claude Code, Codex, Gemini CLI, Cursor, if you prefer the, the little composer window on the side. 